Hello and welcome to part two of my review of Melanie Beckler's Ascension Angel Oracle Cards. If you didn't catch part one, you uh, leave the link in the description below. Go check it out. In part one, we took a look at the deck itself, the cards, um, the bag they came in, and you can just kind of see what all is in the deck. And in, in part two here, we're just going to be doing a little reading around the deck because that way you can see the deck in action. My name is Ona Christie. Join me for a reading using Melanie Beckler's Ascension Angel deck. Where the fun is, right? And so I'm just going to start with a just calling in the light north, south, east, west, above, below and within asking that um, this space be held in the light, asking the angelic team to be present and asking that any negative energies, any energies that are not uh, um, of the highest degree of light, please be escorted away from this space asking for truth and only truth. And asking at this time, I'm just being inspired to ask for clarity on highest path and purpose for whoever is tuning in today or at any time. Um, asking just for guidance on ascension and what, what your next step is. And so the first card I'm going to pull is... Um, it says you are the rainbow bridge okay and so i'm taking this card as sort of like the present moment um kind of card um and remember that yes you are the you are the angel angel we are the rainbow bridge for sure we are the bridge between heaven and earth now i'm going to interpret these cards first because this is a fairly new deck to me i haven't gone through a lot of the um of the guided messages in the deck so I'm going to interpret first just based on my own intuition, and then I'll just read you what Melanie has channeled for each card, okay? So what I'm seeing is this beautiful little girl swinging with a rainbow just streaming off her hair, and she's in total bliss. Like, she's completely just in the moment, and she's free, and she is like in between the this, this sky and the earth here, right? And she's just allowing herself to just really experience life, right? <laughs> and she's not concerned. I mean, she's sort of almost upside down in the air, and it might feel kind of precarious, but she knows that she's got a good handle and um, strong ropes on the swing and nothing to fear. And she's just allowing herself to just enjoy. Okay, so this is what is available to all of us at every moment no matter what we're going through we can always just kind of recognize that even if things seem to be precarious and that we seem may seem to be in an unbalanced situation still we've got this support oops dog here support from above <laughs> and that it's okay that we can simply allow ourselves to feel the bliss that's here for us at every moment, even in challenging moments, right? Um, we're here for a reason and we are here to bridge the the, the heaven and the earth and, and have a physical body and have a physical experience, um, no matter what that physical experience is, to recognize that we can always, in our mind, right? And it's our mind that's the switch, that we can switch into bliss at any moment, okay? just And just feel into that for a sec feel into that, you know, no matter what's going on with you, even if you just, even if you don't feel like you can at the moment, but knowing that it is possible, just opening to that it is possible to flip the switch to bliss at any moment. Okay, so let me, let me see what Melanie uh, says about this particular card and because um, she's got great messages in here. Um, she says, a, okay, so this is Archangel Ariel that she's channeling here. A pillar of divine light flows effortlessly around your being. Light extends up above your head into direct presence with the divine, and light extends down below your feet, connecting you to the light at the core of the earth and to all that is. The light above and the light below fill your spinal column and merge in the area of your heart chakra, your center, your access point for the divine and spiritual realms. Open your hearts. 
Okay, so she's telling us exactly how, right? <laughs> that that this is the switch that we can that we can flip. Open your heart. In doing so, the bridge of light is complete. You are the bridge between heaven and earth. You are the rainbow bridge with all of your chakras open and activated, united as one column of light. You may notice the colors from your root to your crown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and white. The rainbow bridge of light that you are is contained within your energetic signature, allowing you full access to the realms of spirit. From your awareness of this energetic flow, immense light, power, unlimited creation, and positive change are possible in your life. Infinite possibility indeed is yours to co-create with the earth, with the divine, in the realm of all that is. So no matter what you're going through, this is a possibility that you can open up by recognizing this, that you are this bridge, right? Okay, so I'm going to pick another card here. And I'm going to just intend that this card be actions the action card that we can take okay and this one says nurture your physical body okay and this beautiful dancer and she's got this almost like this kundalini dna <laughs> a ribbon going up through here here she's in this pillar of light right and she is actually taking this action to work with her physical body Right? And I feel like this is so, so important is that the body, because we are this, this bridge of, of heaven and earth, well, the body is just as important as what we're doing in our spiritual realm, right? So we can go meditate and stuff, but it's also super important to take care of the body because the body is like the other half of the equation, right? There's body, mind, spirit. We have to work with all three of those. So this is just a, a, um, a suggestion to really think about. And, and really take care of the physical body because your body as above so below as we work with the body it opens up gates for the um, other realms for our mind and our spirit to heal as well um, so let's see what Melanie says um, about this card her channeling um, L-M-N, <laughs> Nurture, here it is, Archangel Haniel. I love Archangel Haniel. She's one of my personal angels that I love to work with. Um, you are certainly a spiritual being, she says, but you reside in physical form. Nurture your physical body by making healthy choices and positive lifestyle changes. Visualize and hold the intention of your physical body glowing with health, vitality, and love. Love holds the power to heal and raise the vibration of your physical body. But be sure you're supporting your intention by making positive choices and taking action. See, the reason it came up is the action card. With assistance from your angels in getting the answer, ask your physical body now, what changes in diet or lifestyle will help you vibrate with more of your authentic truth? Become aware of the changes your body calls for to align with the highest vibration of love available to you in the physical. Hi, Jazzer. This is my dog. And she's feeling physically uh, kind of not so good today. She fell this morning. She's a little old, so... We're just going with the flow here, sweetie. Okay, so um, uh, to continue with, with Melanie's uh, message, what are you ingesting that is not really serving you? What in your diet would benefit you in letting go of? Listen to your body and become aware. And now simply ask with an open heart, angels, help me to make these changes in an easy and effortless way. Release any cravings for things that do not support my body. Help me to want and crave things that support my ascension and empower a vibrant physical form. And I think this is such a wonderful message that she's channeled through. And just, you know, this deck, this card reminding us that we can always ask for help and it can be so hard sometimes to break those habits that we have physically. You know, we have addictions, even if it's something as minor as peanut butter, which is one of my personal addictions, um, we can ask for help. We've always got that help to assist us in doing what's right for our own bodies and our minds and spirits. Okay, and so the third card I'm going to just look at as, hi sweetie, as the opportunity card, the um, the opening, the, the, the ascension portal that's opening for us right now. Okay, and let's pick a card. Let's see what card wants to come forward for that. And just kind of let me show you kind of what I'm doing. I have this sort of odd way of, 
odd way of shuffling and choosing, but um, it says to maintain your positive state, right? And there's this uh, beautiful angel, and she's got the stairway behind her. I'm going to show you the card. Um, and it's kind of seeing her from the back, this beautiful set of wings. That's, what I'm seeing is like she's kind of holding herself to the light, and she's actually got her back to the light. And sometimes the back is the receiving um, part, okay? So this is just, a, it, to me, it's sort of just saying, hey, you know, you do have wings, <laughs> right? We all have um, these we all have our higher self that's always with us at every moment. And here's more dog here. My dog's shedding, by the way. Um, we all have our higher self that's always with us, right? And it's another, just again, it's another flip of the mind to just imagine that your higher self, just sort of bring your higher self and have that higher self come down and begin to almost like a an avatar that you can pull over and just imagine your higher self, right? And also imagine just holding yourself to the light, okay? Because we've always got access to the higher state and if it's just a matter of keeping it in mind, maintaining it, right? And so also this little question that we can ask ourselves every single moment and just continuously monitoring where we're at, where's our vibration, does it feel a little lower, does the body feel a little lower, is something in my mental mind going a little bit wonky, do my emotions feel like they're going, you know, a little bit odd, do I feel spiritually disconnected, always monitoring because then you can ask yourself what what needs to happen physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, just bump that up and, and maintain that higher state. So let's uh, just finally check um, Melanie's interpretation. This is Archangel Metatron that she's channeling. When you interact with others who are vibrating at a lower level, there's a natural human tendency to match this lower vibration. Okay? And, but with awareness, she says, this is not required. Okay? We do not have to go down to the level of whatever's around us. The lesson for here is for you to maintain your vibration in your positive state of being. You are able to be compassionate and loving without taking on the dense energy of another. This allows you to remain in the light and see through the illusion of negativity that others may hold. Focus on the light. Where there is fear and density, do not engage. Introduce lower vibrations to the light to dissipate and neutralize them so the pathway of light is able to flow once again. Tune into the divine light around and with this divine light flowing into your being and out through your heart, send a blessing of light to the earth, to humanity, to yourself and to all. Blessings of light heal, cleanse and allow a new level of light to emerge. Maintain your positive state with your clear intention, returning to love and surrounding yourself with divine light in every moment, right? And so this is a constant discipline <laughs> to continuously be aware of our level of vibration, to recognize that we are responsible for our own level of vibration. More dog here. <laughs> and, um, and to continuously discipline ourselves to maintain that level, that high level that really is our, you know, our true self, our true our, our true beingness. Okay, so if you enjoyed this, uh, this little reading in this deck, um, and if you're interested in purchasing a deck, I'm going to leave the link to that below. Um, and uh, so you can check that out. And just as a, a final kind of like <laughs> sum up, um, this has been Melanie Beckler's Ascension Angel Cards. You can learn more about Melanie. Um, I will link her her uh, YouTube channel below and her website is askangels.com. That's ask-angels.com. So yeah, check her out, check out the cards. And if you liked this video, if you would like more um, deck reviews, I'm planning to do more in the future. Just hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll catch you again soon.